Item number SCP-2783 Object Class Safe Special Contained Procedures Complete information regarding SCP-2783 is restricted to individuals with Level 5 Security Clearance. Physical access to SCP-2783 is likewise restricted to personnel with Level 5 Security Clearance and requires overseer permission. Personnel assigned to SCP-2783 must undergo appropriate amnestic therapy upon reassignment. Exploration must be carried out by personnel qualified in basic extra-dimensional exploration procedures. Standard non-hostile environment exploration equipment and supplies are required for all explorations. Manned portable exploration drones, man-powered vehicles, such as bicycles, and other surveying equipment may also be permitted on a case-by-case -case basis. Description SCP-2783 is an extra-dimensional anomaly accessible through the door of the former Laboratory 37 of the Artificial Intelligence Wing at Site-43. Individuals who cross the threshold of Laboratory 37 Note, such individuals will be referred to as subjects for the remainder of this article, will be transported to a location outside of regular three-dimensional space. Note: Machine exploration does not trigger this anomaly. Also of note is the fact that Laboratory 37 may only be accessed through remotely operated machines at this time. GPS tracking devices identify the location as existing in a tomb in southern Iraq. Foundation archaeologists have identified several artifacts connected to at least two previously undocumented pre Mesopotamian civilizations at this site. Joint Foundation Aurea Quarantine of the area put into effect shortly after discovery. Note, as a result of social political conditions in the region of the tomb, abandonment of this site and evacuation of personnel is currently under consideration. Remote monitoring of the location will continue in this contingency. No physical evidence of SCP-2783 has been uncovered at this location to date. The interior of SCP-2783 visually resembles a graveyard. Subjects manifest inside of a fence approximately one meter past the gate. Walking through this gate returns subjects to the artificial intelligence wing at Site-43. Subjects have reported a variety of separate, mutually exclusive conditions within SCP-2783. Note, this disparity exists even when there are multiple subjects within SCP-2783. These disparities include climate and meteorological conditions within SCP-2783, generally conforming to contemporary seasonal conditions typical of the current subject's place of birth, or locale they strongly culturally identify with. All graves in SCP-2783 are near uniformly marked, with markers again conforming to customs typical in the current subject's place of birth. Many subjects have noted an apparent similarity to military graveyards or epitaphs and other markings on the current subject's native language. All graves have to date remained consistently dedicated to the same or similar persons. Graves will always appear in square grids, 300 graves to a side, 90,000 graves per grid. For ease of documentation, Grids are assigned a two-letter designation, with individual graves given a numeric designation. For a full map of the interior of SCP-2783, with current grids and grave numbers, consult document SCP-2783-B. The number of graves increases at a seemingly arbitrary rate, with the apparent borders of the graveyard expanding to accommodate these changes and new grids beginning as necessary. At time of writing, SCP-2783 contains an estimated 1 million graves. The border of SCP-2783 is a fence or other marker 
that also conforms to customs in the cult and subject's place of birth. All attempts to pass this barrier to date have failed. The apparent climate outside the borders of the graveyard appears to match the climate within. Ground penetrating radar tests indicate that approximately 30% of graves contain human remains, the remaining 70% are unoccupied. The significance of this is unknown. Origins and Recovery on the 13th of November, BEEP, simultaneous containment failures of on-site copies of SCP BEEP, SCP BEEP, and SCP BEEP occurred as cognition testing was being conducted with BEEP.AIC, and experiments are being conducted with SCP BEEP samples. Recovered data and audio logs and security footage indicate that SCP BEEP, SCP BEEP, and SCP BEEP pre-coordinated the containment breach through as yet undiscovered means. While a full timeline of events has not yet been established, it has been determined that BEEP.AIC and SCP BEEP provided assistance to site security that proved essential in limiting damage caused by the mass breach. BEEP.AIC was rendered inoperable, all SCP entities were neutralized and three site security personnel were killed as a result of this incident. Following the recovery of the remains of the deceased site security personnel, materials relating to the terminated SCP entities and AI construct were moved to a secure locker within Laboratory 37. Following the conclusion of the incident investigator's shift, the laboratory was locked when maintenance personnel attempted to enter the laboratory in order to inspect and clean it, the anomaly was triggered and site security notified. Following initial explorations into the anomaly, current containment procedures were put into effect with level 5 security measures being affected following more extensive exploration. Notable inscriptions Does the Black Moon howl? The Black Moon sings in remembrance of those lost in forgotten wars. Be advised, the following information is limited to personnel with level 4 security clearance. Your access has been logged with the Foundation Records and Information Security Administration. The following is a list of gravestone inscriptions deemed noteworthy by the Records and Information Security Administration. A full list can be accessed by authorized personnel by contacting your site base representative. Grave Number Name Inscribed Operative note AA 000 Yahweh, he was vital in her construction. His design shall prove vital in her reconstruction. All instances of grave AA 000 manifest bearing an inscription memorializing a creator entity. No apparent favoritism of any religion has been observed. Deep variants have been observed to date. AA 00001 Adam L. Assam. He was memorialized here so that he may be remembered for who he was, not what he has become. All iterations of Grave AA 00001 manifest with the name of a mythical first human or first man. Adam L. Assam has been observed in approximately 70% of explorations. AA-00002 Hawa Bat Ashara The serpent with the library bestowed upon her great wisdom. Her loss inspires us all to seek wisdom in this, the living world. All iterations of grave AA-00002 have mentioned a mythical first woman. Hawa Bat Ashura manifests in approximately 70% of iterations. AA 00005 Lilith Bat Yahweh. She was loved greatly. Her beauty will not be forgotten. Inscription has remained unchanged in all iterations. AA 00006 Sit Ben Adam. This graveyard was constructed under his orders. When those interred here rise again, it is under his command they shall fight. Inscription has remained unchanged in all iterations. AB 
21917, are known, a crafter of the flesh, and a disciple of the tongueless speaker, a worthy foe. His final moments were expended on the hordes of the Crimson Crown, and so he is memorialized among the heroes of the people. A dark investigation of the grave indicates that the entity interred within possessed biology atypical of baseline humans. AL 21343 Maram Bhathana, our savior and prophet, our staff and shepherd, the machine goddess smiled upon this house, and even now those who rest here are tended to. The name listed on gravestone AL21343 varies equally between Maram Bhathana, Yeshua ben Yahweh, and Dr. Sophia Light. The significance of this is unknown. AL30056 Nicholas Flamo, a esteemed scholar who rose to great heights, but like Icarus, fell from great heights. No evidence of anomalous phenomena associated with this individual has been found to date. AL 41867 Lord Theodore Thomas Blackwood His service to the advancement of science and humanity shall carry on. Later investigation of the grave indicates that a 1.8 meter human skeleton is interred within. Further information cannot be obtained without exhumation of the remains. AM 19186 Private Pyotr Akrakov He and his fellows have seen the gates of hell. Though they do not deserve it, they shall be first to greet the hordes of the Crimson Crown when the gates open. The means interred within appear incomplete. Significance of this is unknown. AM 19273 Vladislav Sotokov his stories of the Great War saved more lives than he could have known. Date of birth and date of death are consistent with an individual who served in the Imperial Russian Army and later defected to the Red Army during the Russian Revolution. No records indicate that this individual was involved in anonymous activity. AM 20367 Colonel Theodore Baker Information has been redacted by order of RASA, level 5 security clearance required. First instance of a grave marker directly referencing information classified at Foundation Security Level 5. This and several grave markers immediately following present an apparent security breach surrounding Operation Hammer and Operation Anvil. Investigation into the source of this breach is ongoing. AM 20381 RIC-437 Information has been redacted by order of VESA. Level 5 security clearance required. Interred remains appear to be of a machine of indeterminate purpose. AM-21450 Dr. Otto Clef A loving father. He gave more than was demanded of him. The name listed on gravestone AM-21450 varies equally between Dr. Otto Clef, Agent Ukulele, and Adam L. Assam. Date of death listed corresponds to a near containment breach incident that resulted in the death of two personnel, including the containment supervisor of SCP-450. AM-21488 Marvin.AIC A machine mind that gave his life to protect his builders, just as the machine goddess before him. There will always be a place in paradise for those who gave of themselves as he did. On initial exploration, Grave AM21488 was the most distant from the entrance to SCP-2783, indicating it to be the most recent grave to be added. Radar investigation of the grave indicates that it contains computer hardware found missing from the secure locker in Laboratory 37, Via drone exploration. Exploration log 926. That's the Black Moon Hall. The Black Moon Hall's in mourning for lost children as the survivors armed themselves for war. 
Level 5 security clearance credentials accepted. Your access has been locked with Razor. Welcome, Overseer. On the 15th of October 2017, a routine exploration of SCP-2783 was being carried out by Agent Philip McLean when Agent McLean noted the presence of multiple humanoid entities previously not encountered in SCP-2783. These entities were captured by audiovisual recording equipment. There were 13 total entities recorded, 6 seemingly female and 7 seemingly male. Racial ethnic profile of the entities was not apparent from either the recording or Agent McLean's testimony. All entities manifest in close proximity to a new grave marker near the border of SCP-2783's interior. All entities wore identical black dress coat and slacks, grey dress shirts and black ties. All coats bore a coat of arms pat on both shoulders consisting of the white circular shield with three equidistant protrusions inside the shield with three equidistant black arrows piercing a white circle outlined in black. All entities additionally wore black and white peaked caps, bearing the same insignia on the face. Unlike all previous new gravestones manifestations, there was a grave in front of the marker, dug approximately 1.8 meters deep. Six of the entities manifested bearing an unordained casket. The seven remaining entities manifested carrying Bolt action rifles of unknown make. The entities were recorded marching in a tight formation to the gravesite. Upon reaching the gravesite, the entities bearing the casket methodically lowered the casket into the grave as the entities bearing rifles stepped aside in single file, assuming the position of present arms upon stopping. When the entities lowering the casket completed, they rendered hand salute as the entities bearing rifles carried out a three-volley salute. Following this, all entities marched in single file to the gate of SCP-2783, where they demanifested. Upon later inspection, the new gravesite appeared undisturbed. Breakdown of the inscription on the grave marker is included below. AM-21530 Captain Kerry Michelle Hollis Mobile Task Force Z9. She died in a strange and faraway place with a smile in her face, a weapon in her hand, and folds on all sides. She exemplified what all warriors should strive to be. Exploration 926 occurred 48 hours following the extrication of over a dozen Foundation personnel from SCP-1730 immediately prior to its neutralization. Captain Hollis went missing during this extrication and is presumed killed in action. It is unknown at this time it remains interred in SCP-2783 correspond to Captain Hollis. Possible examination is currently under Ethics Committee review.